Hello, and welcome to today's children's message. I'm really glad that you are here. Do you have a favorite television hero or a, a superhero that's your favorite? We like to watch cartoons and movies about superheroes because we like to see them use their superpowers to get out of any tough situation they find themselves in. We even like to pretend that we are superheroes sometimes, with plenty of power for any emergency. But everyone knows that superheroes on TV are just make-believe. Real people have no superpowers. Real people can't hold back a speeding car or a train with one hand or stop a bullet with their fist. When real people fall off a building, they get hurt or even killed. Only one real person, Jesus, the Son of God, was powerful enough to save himself from any danger because he is the true God. Because he is God's Son, everything on earth and in heaven obeys him. It's why he is able to make blind people see and crippled people walk. It's why he could tell the, the wind to stop blowing and the waves to calm down. He even made dead people come back to life. Jesus' enemies, though, they hated him. They wanted to make him stop preaching and healing people. They didn't want him to raise any more dead people. So they arranged to have him captured. Then they told lies about him. And finally, a Roman official said that Jesus would have to die. Jesus' enemies took him to a hill called Calvary. There, they nailed his hands and feet to a cross. They stuck the bottom of a cross in a hole and left Jesus hanging there to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, his enemies made fun of him. Come down from the cross and save yourself, they teased. He saved others, but he can't save himself. Do you think Jesus could have come down from the cross if he wanted to? Of course he could. If he had wanted to, he could have called a, a thousand angels to come from heaven and kill the people who were making fun of him. But he didn't. Jesus just stayed there on the cross and died. The cross was the reason Jesus had come into the world. Jesus told a man named Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. God loved sinners, just like you and me. Sinners who deserved to die for the wrong things they had done. He loved them so much he sent his son Jesus to die in our place. That love for us made Jesus want to stay on the cross, even though it hurt him very much, even though he knew he would die. That's why the cross is so beautiful to everyone who believes in Jesus. It reminds us how much God loves us. It reminds us that our sins have been paid for. For Jesus' sake, we have, been, we have been forgiven. Let's thank Jesus for dying for us and forgiving our sins. Dear Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for all the wrong things I do. Thank you for staying on the cross and dying for all of my sins. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's children's message. I look forward to seeing you at our next children's message. Music